We're going to do onion tanglers today. I've already uh, sliced the onions, got them ready, and I'm going to use the Drake's Crispy Fry Mix. I like that a lot because it's seasoned and I've used it for a long time. It's really good to work with. So I've got things going here. I'm going to add a little bit more the fry mix. Let me back up just a little bit. After I slice the onions, I sprinkle, literally sprinkle hot sauce on them and I let them marinate for a while and then I pour the fry mix in on top and just kind of work my onions around. And I don't use a, a fryer. I just use a pan and it works good for me. So now we're gonna go over to the stove. And I'll take these out just a few at a time. These are really, really good appetizers. My grandchildren always loved for me to make them when they came over. And it's something you get started on and you can't stop. the onions, I slice them really thin for the tanglers. And that hot sauce, they're not really hot. You'd think that they'd burn you up, but they're not really hot. I guess you can make them as hot as you wanted to, huh? Yep. So if you really like them, uh, and you got a couple of people, how many average onions should you use? Well, you, for us, I just use maybe one or two, but if you have uh, company or you have hungry grandchildren, you better fix a lot. a batch with a lot of sauce and I fix another batch that's not.
smell awful good. Yes, they sure do. Okay, after they're through frying, I take them out and put them in a, a basket to drain. And uh, I've got some paper towels in the bottom of that bowl that let them drain really good and cool. And then uh, I bet we'll be in them, <laughs> trying them out. No, I don't have the same clothes on today as I did yesterday. Today is still yesterday. This is a twofer. We decided that since the first one was so easy to do, we'd just do another one. So, the boss is going to make, I think she's going to make burritos or something like that. But you're going to like it. Yes, that's what we're making. We're making burritos. And I'm going to take you over here and show you how I make my own refried beans. I, uh, I can these in pints. When I'm going to make burritos, I'll use the pints, but I also do them in quarts for rice and beans or some other recipe. And this is a, a really easy thing to do. Turn on the stove here. And I'm going to go ahead and put some seasoning in. Some garlic granules. And I like a lot of garlic. I guess you could tell. And a little cumin. And I'll let that come to a boil. I'm going to mash up the beans. Got the old handy dandy potato masher here. Okay, now our refried beans are ready. And we're going to start building our burrito here. Let me see how nice that is. Okay, let's start building this. Be careful I don't make it too fat. Okay. Emerald don't like onions, so I won't put onions on his. Okay, what was that you just put on there? I just put some sour cream on there. Sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there and put a little bit of uh, picante sauce on it. That's not that stuff that's made in New York City, is it? <laughs> yes, it is. Because <laughs> we're all out of the homemade. I could make some with a jar of tomatoes. Okay. Kind of clean up my mess here. Okay. We're all ready. Now see how easy that was? All right. Now, you know what really happened here, right? You just got to watch Carol make my lunch. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't think there's any doubt what I'm going to have for lunch. I like them, though. And I hope you like them too. And I, if you enjoyed this video in any way, shape, or form, please subscribe. Because we'll do something else you like eventually. <laughs> and uh, I guess they're telling me that we need a thousand subscribers. And I don't know. They're making it so it's nearly impossible to uh, get anything done. But we're, we're not going to give up. We're just going to keep going. So... Thanks a million for watching this one. If you got this far, you got to see that twofer. We got <laughs> onion tanglers and uh, burritos today. So thank you, Carol, for what you've done. And You're welcome. We'll see you the next time.
Bye-bye. Bye-bye.